A few steps from where Tracy and her brother Paul stand, their sibling, Leonard Shand, was gunned down by police on September 26, 2019. The family's lawyer gave VOA videos he obtained from the authorities. They show an almost 40-minute standoff with 10 officers of three departments in Prince George's County, Maryland. They demanded that Shan drop two knives. Shan's family says police used excessive force and inflamed the scenario that ultimately led to his shooting death. They killed him before the crisis intervention showed up. He didn't trust cops, so it would have made an absolute difference. And you got to remember, he wasn't hostile all the time. He got hostile when they tried to hit him with the vehicle. He got hostile when they tried to kick him in his back. In the United States, the justice system handles cases of alleged police brutality as criminal or civil matters, sometimes both. Because it is the police who investigate crimes, there's an automatic conflict of interest. The victim's family is able to bring civil charges to that officer, against that officer, relating to any types of um, victimization that that individual and their family member suffered. Now, with regards to criminal charges, that has to be brought on by the government. The controversy is that prosecutors are so used to working with law enforcement. They depend on law enforcement to provide them with that evidence. Then there is transparency. In Maryland and most states, a grand jury, that's a panel of ordinary citizens, reviews the evidence from police and prosecutors to decide if cops should be charged. The problem with the grand jury is it is secret. It happens behind closed doors with one prosecutor and no other lawyer for the victim. We don't even know what charges were suggested. The grand jury voted not to charge the officers involved in Sean's shooting. The prosecutor called the process thorough and transparent and said she isn't open to reviewing it. Um, the uh, use of force expert looked at every single angle, reviewed every piece of video footage, reviewed every uh, witness statement, um, and applied the law. The Fraternal Order of Police Union has pushed back on the nationwide drive to reopen cases including Shams. I guess I would just be fearful that uh, you, could, you could reopen and keep cases open indefinitely until you got the answer that you wanted to get. And that's not how our justice system works. There's been political pressure on some high profile cases, like the 2014 shooting death of Michael Brown in Ferguson, 12 year old Tamir Rice in Cleveland and the 2015 death of Freddie Gray of spine injuries after his arrest in Baltimore. Even when an officer is not indicted, it still doesn't mean that people didn't find what happened to be egregious. And oftentimes in civil court is where we see the shift. Settlement of civil misconduct cases is paid by states, cities and counties with insurance and or taxpayer money. What's called, quote, Qualified immunity, unquote, shields individual officers from personal financial responsibility for actions on duty. That's something that is very controversial. Um, that's an issue that's not only being taken up at the state and local level, but also nationally. Legislation repealing qualified immunity passed the U.S. House in March. Brave Boy said her county is improving police training while beefing up mental health units and she welcomed the police reform package Maryland recently passed. Leonard Shan's siblings know there's little chance of getting a new criminal investigation and are hoping to find justice through an ongoing civil lawsuit. But they know it can never be complete. Money, if they get any, won't bring Leonard back. This is a human life. So, I mean, what compensation, you know, could there be? I feel hard because I know what he wanted to do and what he was currently in the process of doing with his life. And now he's just, it's just cut down, you know, and that's, that's a horrible, horrible thing. Veronica Valderas Iglesias for VOA News, Prince George's County, Maryland.